Welcome back, everybody. We've arrived once again. I forgot I had these quests to still turn in, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way before we start on something new. Operation status success. Stigma 4 has abandoned its military offensive. N7000 submits the orders to Stigma 4. Stigma 4 is instructed to immediately cease production of all weapons and attack units and in initiate production of diplomatic hologram units. Analysis of memory data complete. Further pursuit of plan evasion is calculated to have a 99.99% probability of resulting in utter annihilation. N7000's orders are deemed strategically and logically sound, reconfiguring production infrastructure. Intra Take that, glowing eyeball. Oh, my dearest nine N7000. I apologize for all those times I called you a sack of bolts. Why, you're the most oppressive military information operations do not have ever met. This unit expresses its gratitude to the hero Narn in the soft looking organic life form. This unit cannot have succeeded without your help. This also marks the completion of this unit's duty. It's with the evasion halted indefinitely, there remains no military operation or conflict requiring this unit's functions. Now you just shut down and enter permanent entry saving hibernation. Shut down, what nonsense is this? Did you not receive an order to live just a short while ago? Until the sleep does not like sound like living to me. Come on, Narn, say something to set this bolt head straight, won't you? The shutdown would be inconsistent with the orders order Sir gave you. She's right, you were told to live, and live is what you'll do. If you don't have a war, war to rage anymore, you can use your talents to bring in a new future of peace and hope. But what are the appropriate protocols? This unit possesses little practical experience in peacetime operations. You can access Stigma 4, can you not? By interfacing with its memory banks, you might not be able to, say, find knowledge of lost civilizations? Civilizations that might simulate for the edification of those who live now? Indeed, such a task would be within this unit's capabilities, but what about when the task is complete? If on an ongoing mission, sooner or later this unit is bound to lose its purpose, what happens then? Well, let's see now, I suppose you could always open a cafe? Back in Old Charlien, there's a fine establishment called The Last Stand. People gather there to share food, drink, and company, and reasons to meet again. Nari delivered her word from the world from the brink of despair and helped people dream of a brighter future once more. What if we could do the same for other civilizations Medeon found? This unit finds the furry life form suggestion difficult to process. And yet, realizing accurate simulations of mirage civilizations, including those of the Omicron we yet encountered, would undoubtedly challenge this unit to the fullest. It's a reason to remain active for the foreseeable future. Precisely. See, I knew I was onto something here. Speaking of here, now do you know any, anywhere nearby that could use a good cafe? There's an empty structure that might be sued for it in the Necropolis. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Alright, so we have to head all the way over there now. <laughs> Do we just have a, uh... Okay, there's not one over here. I don't remember offhand how you actually get over there. That's interesting. Well, actually, fly. Never mind. I forgot for a moment I'm not playing Rift at the moment. I can literally just fly to where I need to be. I've been playing so much Rift lately that it's been messing me up a bit on other games. <laughs> <clears throat> Guy's gonna open a cafe here, that's interesting. Well, would you look at that, a spacious counter, outdoor seating, and a fine layer of horny gray dust. But of all of this view of that massive dead star that media was lurking in for ages, looming anonymously overhead, people are going to love this. 
Think about it, it's poetic. The very place where hope was nearly extinguished forevermore, now a beacon of it. This unit has still not fully processed the concept of a cafe, but will simulate influence of lost civilization as its ongoing mission. That'll be fine, N7000. Just focus on what you do best, and leave the rest to me. I'll have you know I learned a thing or two about preparing and serving victuals and beverages in my time to the last stand. At the mention that I've come up with the perfect name for our new establishment, The Last Dregs. An inspiring monkener, wouldn't you say? You soon as I'm able to process this statement. I must defer to the furry life form's judgment. I'll take that as a yes. Now, we had best get to work. There are many preparations to be made before we're ready to open for business. You're more than welcome any time, though, Naren. Oh, and please tell the other Laparats I'm not dead. Wasn't too bad. Oh, I thought I had to pick one. I get both of them, never mind. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Oh, disciple the land, okay. That's interesting to know that they have a disciple the land quest out this way. I'd have to be like level 90 for it, but it's here. <laughs> Best way barrels, I'm pretty sure, is where we need to go. Yeah, so we just get to uh, fly out of here. I don't remember where exactly where the exit is, but I think it's up here, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, I think this is it. Giant seal still there on the dark crevice down there. <laughs> I have no idea when 6.5 actually comes out. I kind of would assume maybe like September. We're getting a little... We're getting towards August now as I'm recording this, so... I don't think it's too far off. You're back! What happened to the big cheese? Gone, I suppose, as a might better than the alternative. And you say the survey team is safe. Oh, thank heavens. Swelton was meant to be a paradise, and the Big Cheese is the architect. It was designed to learn what it, makes it takes to make people happy. And make manifest whatever we could dream up, no matter how seemingly impossible. But I've been unduly fickle. Every new plan contradicting the last. I fear my indecisiveness overloaded the Big Cheese, and lost sight of what true happiness is. <sighs> All I wanted was to make the people of Ethereus happy, and look upon their smiling faces. Have you considered visiting residential areas on Ethereus for inspiration? <laughs> now there's an idea. I mean, sure, Yarn J has been incredibly helpful with his advice, but actually seeing how people live would surely be more informative than simply hearing about it. Now that the final days have been averted, there's no need to, need to rush. I'll be sure to keep, bear that in mind so nothing like this happens again. Perhaps I'll start with something simple like furniture. Oh, and I can design a new automated system to build them. I'll call it, uh, the bigger cheese. Hmm. I don't know about that. Alright, with that, we have the two quests left over that we finished up, and now I'm going to actually, uh, head back to Yudan. Actually, I can just hit return, can't I? Well, actually, I don't have return on my thing anymore, so, eh. Guess it doesn't matter that much. Let me see here. We're actually going to go back and start on a level 50 quest line, so it actually gives me an excuse to be a black mage again. I 
go ahead and take the time to switch over now, I think. Oh, not the Glamour Bright. Uh, Black Mage. That's set. There we go. Been a while since I've touched any of this. Let's see, it should be... Okay, it's this way, in fact. Hey, you've been busy as a bee, Narn. Seems half the whispers that come my way relate to your comings and goings. Being the active type you are, I reckon you'd be interested in investigating some queer rumors, am I right? But before that, let me ask, have you ever heard of a man named Hildebrand? Oh, you don't mean to say you knew the bugger? I thought he himself famous, but think it, think it don't make it true. Shame if they had to go and get himself killed. All that nonsense about stopping Dalmod himself. What in the seventh hell was he thinking? At least it was merciful quick. Still, judging from the depth of the crater, he must have fallen from an unfathomable height. God's only know what is going on through his mind as he watched the ground rush up to meet him. Ooh. Amazing how well the body was preserved, though. Hells, it's amazing there's a body left to bury it all. Hmm, I had reason for bringing this up. All oh, right. So Nashu Hildebrand's erstwhile assistant has since become an inspector in her own right. At present, she's investigating the queer rumors I mentioned earlier. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft, but sweet nonetheless. So when I heard she's at wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I prefer to meddle, prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living. Zombies are most definitely not my forte. So if you're well, if you're well, and I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where she'll find her, she'd like she's like to visit Hildebrand's grave in the lich yard when she's frustrated. Try looking for her there first. In the lich yard, what? Oh, in Eastern Thailand. Okay. Oh, that's my. Black books must be my next quest in my uh, class line there. Okay. Here in the lich yard. Well, if only we're still alive, Inspector. You'd know how to stop these zombies. Ah, you there? Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me. Oh, but where are my manners? I'll me introduce myself. Ahem, my name is Nashu, Agent of Inquiries, an extraordinary inspector. At least that's what I've been trying to be. It's not quite as easy as you made it look. Inspector Hildebrand was a great man, a real Azorzian hero. We traveled the world, me and him, solving cases and thwarting evil. No matter the mystery, you could always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. But then there was the final case, the case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. To save us all, he flew into the sky, and all I could do was watch. But then, then he came back down, and he... he... We're getting an echo off of this, that's interesting. This is all a joke, a big funny joke, right, Inspector? Any moment now, you'll burst out of the ground and shout surprise, had you food, eh? And we'll laugh and laugh. Uh, they say, they say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone forever. I remember you, Inspector. No, Gentleman Hero, Hildebrand. I 
I can never be the hero you were, but I'll try my best. I'll do my best to try. I, Nash, you Inspector Extraordinaire, will carry on your legacy. So I tell myself, well, Nash, you, there must be a leader, a head zombie, who tells the rest what to do, therefore all we need to do is kill him again, that is, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him, but now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try on the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where these dapper zombies were last seen in South and Thonalon, you might find them, and then you can, uh, ah, you can become their friend and ask to meet their leader. Yes, that should, that's sure to work. Alright, so I guess we have to head to South and Thonalon now, and, uh, read some zombies. You know, I'm not gonna teleport this time. We can go ahead and fly there. It's one one zone over, so. Yeah, it's been a moment since I've been a black mage, so figured it'd be worth bringing it back out for this quest line at least. This these quests actually go all the way up to Endwalker, as far as I understand, so I'll have to go back to Paladin once we reach the 60 side of them, but... I figured this would probably be a good time to actually do them. Though they're not finished in the Endwalker section, so I don't know if I'll do that part right away or not. Maybe, I'm not sure. Honestly, unsure on that. I forgot I wasn't playing it like a quick hit type of person too, so that was kind of amusing. going off these zombies, but we have quite a few to kill in like a little bit of time. Okay, I'll admit this <laughs> being Black Rage for this may have not been the uh, best idea. the zombies dapper. <laughs> I 
Oh, we got a free fire three. There we go. The gentle dead men in peace. The gentle dead men. Hmm. It's kind of amusing how this giant tortoise is like right in the middle of things. We're actually doing pretty well now. We're already halfway in the bar. I don't actually know if you have to beat it down completely or not, but it's probably a good idea too, so. You're neither a gentleman nor a zombie. And now he's finally coming over to fight me. Honestly, this is pretty amusing so far. I was told this is going to be a silly quest line, though I wasn't sure what I was getting into when I saw the whole graveyard scene, but it's definitely starting to get silly. I think they finally stopped spawning over here. So we just need to wrap up on uh, who we got left over here, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize before this guy was actually like suited up to be normal, or normal fighter. Oh, that was a stun. Oh. This might be the last one here. I don't see any more. He's another spear guy. Is that it? That's it? Yes. We got something here at least. A parchment? And we'll go ahead and just teleport back. Did you find the zombies? You did. That's wonderful. I've been busy too. That zombie will rue the day he meets me, you'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? Got a curious parchment. Read upon this map of the Sigali Desert in a flame boy flowing hand of the words a gentleman is rather than does. Oh, so you weren't able to make new friends. That's a shame. But this parchment, this looks like a map of the Sigali Desert. There's a spot here marked here in the south that looks like something's written here. A gentleman is rather than does. So it reminds me of, um, well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes us, assistant. Onward to the Sigoli. Let me see here. Okay, so it's way out there at the end of the desert. 
Interesting the way that we still are finding more things out here in this desert. Like the sand fishing was probably my favorite thing that I was doing out here. Uh. I unfortunately had the lovely moment of the game cutting out in a cutscene with me, so. I'll just be starting again from this point. I don't think I've really read the map. Maybe they're just shy though. So we called out to them and let them know we come in peace. So when the leader shows himself, we strike. Gentleman is rather than does. That's like a code phrase to me. Bruh. Who summons the gentle dead men? They live, they live, and we, we hunger. My brothers, let me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his yes. Spare so these two fair ladies, your amount investigations. Withdraw, I say, and harass them no more. Up in the sky, look, it's the bird. No, it's a plane. It, no, it's the inspector. We hear and we obey. It is you, it really is you. I knew nothing could kill the great inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand of whom you speak? My name is Zombabran. Devourer of brains, undead overlord extraordinaire. What are you saying? You're not an undead overlord. You're a gentleman inspector. Uh, uh, inspector, overlord. Inspector, overlord. No, oh, inspector, you just confused us all. Don't worry. I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Stay your hand, milady. You know not what you do. If I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more likely to liquefy my... If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or kill you trying. See, even you acknowledge the possibility of this plan will result in my... Death. Normally I would applaud your ingenuity, Nashu, but I have heard that you'd found a more elegant solution. Ah, he remembers me. Inspector Hillebrand remembers me. Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful assistant. What I do not quite remember is how I came to be here.
Yeah, such a wonderful dream. I saw a dragon and... Hmm, what is this place? And for that matter, who am I? Yeah, the zombie just made a little mistake. He wasn't quite dead yet, but he had the spirit. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, the inspector and Jordanaire have awoken at last. I, I always knew you'd come back to us. Be it Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might this fine lady be? Hmm, could she perhaps be one of my many admirer? Oh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm? The ringing in my ears, this dizziness, could it be a case? I don't think I misread the map, maybe that's just... Oh, um... Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> sure, we'll just discard it. I. <clears throat> and then we should be able to skip this entire thing. There we go. I guess they won't allow you to toss quest rewards like that. Verily, it might be not else. Somewhere nearby, dastardly doings are afoot, and only I can thwart them. Copious quantities of sand and unbearable heat. Haha, <laughs> the Sigoli Desert, I bet my life on it. Which means Udala is but a short trek away. Yes, it all fits. Only that den of inquiry could so violently trigger my keen investigator's, in investigator's sense. If you're not law-abiding citizens, Inspector Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. Which way did he go, Narn? Did you see? Oh dear, I've got to find him. Ah, oh, and change my outfit, too. No, I can actually use return on this one. Beg your pardon, you wish to question me as to whereabouts of that deviant running about town dressed in rags? Do I look like a reporter for the Mithrali? I do not consort with perverts. Ooh, okay. <laughs> What, you're looking for a half-naked Highlander who, who likes to catch cr criminals? I think I remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find the inspector friends of yours, tell them to do something about that goddamn duelist. The mate's pa's cousin's kid, best friend, lost his blade the other day to that bastard. Okay. K, 
Okay, maybe it, lo it looks like it might be inside the quicksand. Hmm, sorry, Lass, but if it's information you want, you better serve by best going to Wimbon. Only rumors I've heard are those about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist, or so I hear, but when you don't allow your opponents to refuse, well... Okay, we gotta go talk to this Wimbon character. I take it you've dealt with that zombie problem, eh? So do tell, just why were they dressing up like dandies? Waymon, hey Waymon! The almighty bugger me of a bleeding spear that did arisen, and that walking the streets of Yudal. No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, your reports by death were greatly exaggerated. It's true, he's not a zombie, I checked. Ah, uh, you do seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question, how in the seven hells did you survive that fall? My question to Divine Providence. What matters is that Orosia's champion has returned, and that he, and by mean, and by that I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. Heard about that, did you? Might be harder than you think, even I've got no inkling of that fellow's current whereabouts. Inconceivable. I refuse to believe that the ever inquisitive, ever ambitious, ever reliable Waimon is without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Hmm, well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden who. what said her most. This naive assaulted a young woman as well, the audacity I should fly to her side at. Why, if it isn't the lady from the Sagole? A supremacist encounter indeed, unless you too seek the belligerent duelist. Capital, it'll be invigorating to engage in a friendly bout of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must be away. <clears throat> Damn it, Hildy, I hadn't told you Lass's name yet. Uh... Okay, there we go. Just took a moment. Well, Narn, you might as well go after him. I'll be disappointed if you don't. Lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman of a taste for the finer things in life. Safe to say you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most day every day. Good luck with the inspector and inspector. <clears throat> I know there should be a uh, Ethernet up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Said the Weaver's Guild, so we'll go ahead and go there. Alright, looks like we're not too far away from it. Ah, there she is. My beloved per heart was unlike any wand you've ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. You will bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession, carelessly ripped from the hands of its owner. Lady weeps, and the wind barrows her sorrow to her ear to his ears. What gentleman could hear this call on call and not beg the honor of championing her cause? What in the world? I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of Aquirely, Inspector Extraordinaire, shall scour all creation from the deepest pits of the seven hells to the very pinnacles of the heavens for your poor heart. What he said. And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated. Having guided you you to this fair maiden side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? 
theft, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I... I'm certain I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashions on Sunsilk and took a match in the Coliseum, I realized it was gone. So the time and location of theft is unknown. Essential details about which we cannot solve this case. There is but one logical course of action, Miss Moon. To coax the hidden clues from your memories, we must reenact that fateful day's excursion to soak sunsoak tapestries. <clears throat> Alright, I'm not sure exactly where that is. Let me see. Okay, apparently it's pretty close to the steps of knowledge, so we'll just go ahead and go there. Okay, so they're right over there. Miss Moo, would you be so kind as to describe your visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse in shock, not intentionally on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. If I may be so bold, Miss Moo, that strikes me as the most unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us ne next proceed to the Coliseum and see what you remember. And the Coliseum's gonna be down this way. Interesting crates there. Once again, Miss Moon, if you'd be so kind as to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling that day and was debating what which match to observe. No glider had approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse in shock, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying around a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six score ponzes, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. 120 ponzes? Miss Moon, you're a remarkably strong woman. Which is precisely why you were targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief bore you a grudge. No, it's more than that. He hated you for passion. There sure are a lot of giant crates in you, doll. At the Weaver's Guild, at Sunsook Trifle Trees, and now here too. <laughs> These crates are everywhere, Narn. I wonder what's inside, but I don't see how we can open. Ah, oh, of course. I still have plenty of explosives. Here, why don't you try? It'll be fun. Sure, why not? At the heart of every crime rests a single unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for a shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my inefutable conclusion. A gladiator professes his feelings only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and man. Resenting her prowess while recognizing his weakness, he carries out a more feasible revengeance. He robs the of her weapon, the pure heart. Inspector, we found the pure heart. These strange men sticking around town when crates had it. It's not what you think, we're not thieves, we're devotees. Yellow Moon is our sudden stars. We only wish to keep her safe from harm. And should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it for safekeeping, nothing untoward. You deviants were behind all the thefts. All this time you've been stalking me. What what nerve? Ah, such in brittle theory, such righteous indignation. We should be glad to accept the goddess's punishment. Goddess, devotees. Ah, but of course. That I inspect those traits were a stroke of genius that I had to inspect those crates were a stroke of genius indeed. 
As I was elucidating but a moment ago, these fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thefts, as... Those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Unless you've forgotten the culprit is a duelist, he only claims his victim's weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that those buffoons and boxes were incapable of such. I should know, I'm a reporter for the Mithril Eye. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hildebrand, gentleman inspect investigator and agent of inquiry, I presume. You're looking well for a dead man. Would you like to meet with one of the duelist's victims? I'll introduce you with pleasure. You'd be willing to share such precious information with me. Your generosity is commendable, Miss Ellie. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. The name of the man is... Uh, where the bloody hell do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. <laughs> Pretty sure she's supposed to be, like, right here, I'm assuming. It's unfortunate in the towns that just kind of loads up so slowly that it takes a while from here. Let me get some filtered water. Hmm. Uh, I suppose you're the imbecile's friend. You intend to help them. The man you went to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With luck, the good inspector may find his way there by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. Huh, I wonder what will happen when he discovers that the victim is a perpetrator as well. Golden Bazaar, let me see. Oh, that's way out there. Okay. Back to camp drive boat it is. I sense the presence of a powerful mark. to go this way it looks like oh they do let me cut across the tops here okay I am Humphrey who and you are Uh, at last, I've caught up with you. The, you there, young sir. I'm told you are a victim of the marauding duelist. Eh, me, a victim? Huh, how amusing. You amuse me. True, I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, but, that, but where he thought to find a whelp. He found a warrior of light instead. Aye, I defended my honor, honor my blade. See for yourself. You mean you won? That's amazing. Yeah, well, it was nothing compared to what I faced at Cardinu. Magic check to, to the right of us, magic check to the left of us, stuck in the middle of Master Lu. We were... Core, he was a dab hand of the old magic he was. I tried to save him, of course, but there's a limit to how many giant beasts a man can. That man is no warrior of light. Tell him, Elazar. Tell them how he lost and surrendered a sword that was not his own. Liar, scoundrel. I trusted the bastard with my father's blade. Bid him to take it to the smithy for restoration. He even gave him gill to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sniffing and begging for forgiveness for losing it in a duel, as if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding horseman. Look at me. Me flowing golden locks are no more. I've gone bald from the stress and heartbreak. I swear to everything holy that you're a face to reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. Alright, alright. He beat the shit out of me and took the old man's sword. I used the gill to play, pay for the churgeon. I have no idea where he or the sword is. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have, unless unless you help me find the sword. That's what you do, right? Help people? Have you no shame? First you claim legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with problems of your own making? You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? And what if Elazar is flowing grown locks? How will forsaking young Humphrey help the man he has wronged? <clears throat> Humphrey back there is like, alright. <laughs> We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of Golden's Bazaar. Oh. 
Oh yeah, somebody else is doing this as well. Antique swords. Oh, I haven't felt the foggiest, I, foggiest about that. The traveling merchant, Jojo Pon, is the one you gotta speak with, with him, assuming he hasn't left. Okay, so Jojo Pon is the guy we probably have to talk to. That boy should be ashamed of himself, robbing poor Elazar of a priceless ha family hair room, and then it just goes to show you should never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and strictures, a lot of them. Uh, it may not be the most honorable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elazar a counterfeit blade. If the session brings him peace in his final days, would it be so wrong? Elazar's sword wasn't much to look at, but at least it was authentic. More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit relics. Hmm, okay. Let's go talk to this Jojo Pond guy. Okay, it's over this way. <clears throat> I'm afraid I have no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not the one I can guarantee to be authentic. You see, anywhere as I determine the VFW's origins, I may sit discard in the spring east of Camp Drybone. Although I have no swords for sale at present, I may have disposed of a facility similar in design to the one you describe. This presents a quandary, though I loathe to deceive an honorable man like Elazar, a well-intentioned ruse may put his heart at ease. Thus spurring the rejuvenation of those flowing golden locks while we continue to search for the Generine Oracle. Well, if there's a sword in the spring, I won't be it won't remain there for long. It's one of the most convenient sources of fresh water for the common folk in Camp Drybone. Tisk tisk, you should endeavor to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie. Like me, I say we search the spring first before declaring all is lost. Alright, let's go ahead and head on down there and search this spring run. I'm sure it's gonna end up going wacky. <clears throat> this spring is pretty far out there. Is this over, like, by where the golden stuff is? I don't remember. No, it's right here. Okay. It occurs to me that I'm not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injuries. It may not be prudent to immerse my body in water. Not without first coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil, that is. Indeed, on many occasions, my dearest mother tended my childhood scrape just so. You understand the importance of physical rehabilitation, yes? Then you can be assist me by pouring the oil all over my body. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Ah, this comforting scent, as though I am a child under arms, quickly now. Before it dries, knead the oil into my aching flesh. Ah, uh, the... The real... Ah, uh, the pain multiplies manifold. Gently now, gently. Oh gods, oh gods, yes at last. My muckles slacken and soften. The warmth spreads and the pain becomes pleasure. Right there, yes. Keep doing that, just like that. Yes, oh. Yes, now once more. Feeling. Rose the Hat. That's a Stephen King reference, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> uh, never before have I reached such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring. You as well, my good woman. Oh, this is going to take a while, huh? <laughs> I don't know why people would be dumping garbage into their water source, though. That's kind of strange. You've been productive, excellent. May I see what you found? 
nothing really of a uh, worth here, man. No sign of the sword Jinjapon mentioned, I see. Ah. Now I'm all wet. What was that anyway? Hmm, did something cause you to... Once again, my instincts have guided us to a query. That I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke of, uh, of... Inspector, it's bad for your health to conduct investigations in those clothes. I'll go to you, Dahl, and fetch you some new ones. Health awful of you, Nashi. While you're there, purchase a few bodies of the hair tonic for Alizel as well. The newest and most potent blend you can find. It is not wonderful, my friend. Soon all of Elazar's woes will be no more. Alright, let's go talk to him again. Would be funny if the sword is actually the sword. <laughs> Inside the house? No, he's not in this one. This one? Ah, yes, he is in here. Okay. I just promise I'll return to you your father's ancient blade. Ah, it is her. Every chip and scratch is as I remembered. Gods bless you, sir. I never expected you to go to such lengths for two strangers without a thought of reward. Altrium is a weird trait these days. Just common enough if you know what her look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I brought your change of clothing. I also bought a supply of tonic from this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would just bring me that case. <laughs> Inspector, Inspector Hildebrand. There appears to be something lodged on my forehead. Could it be a missile from adoring a mire? Hmm, the author neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. It's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist smote this. He's daring you to stop him. Challenge for me. Oh, at last the curtain rises. Very well, if I'm the duel of the duelist, I will must dress for the occasion. He signs like, shines like the sun. I, Hildebrand, Ancient of Acquiring, Inspector Extraordinaire, accept your challenge. He's, he's incredible, so bold, so majestic, just like the Warrior of Light. No, a Gentleman of Light. He is exceptionally something. Poor Inspector Hildebrand, you look amazing.
Hildebrand. This is far from the strongest of swords. Blue, blue skies and the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the Blade of Legend? Hmm, curious fellow there. Is that the joke? Is the tonic actually just filtered water? Interesting. It really is like a, a show preview. <laughs> hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind me of, um, no, it's gone. Never mind. Perchance you are curious about the duelist's declared target, it so happens I have identified the weapon in question. The treaty blade is part of an Ishgardian noble collection, or was, I should say. No, it is yet, yet, not yet been stolen, it has been purchased by you, Don Collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice to say, I would be missed in my duties as a reporter were I not an investigator. And should the duelist strike while I'm present, well, I hope I need to explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Integrating myself to her might be the proof. It might be the proved to be the jury's challenge, though. I'm told she's a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I'm also told that she has a fondness for rare flowers. Sort of titricide and can't let dry phone cells. You can come along if you'd like. See here. Right over here, okay. Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Was it for love or money that you killed him? It was it was you? Have you gone mad? That was an Amajan arrow in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Amajai don't sleep, shoot fling are on merchants, they capture and temper them. Now that you were your victim make for convincing not that you were your victim make for convincing merchants. If you're going to be mis misrepresent mis yourself, put some effort into it. Wear gloves, for God's sake, or at least don't wave your hands in front of my face. The calluses on your fingers portray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless you used your skills to great effect five years ago as you did your partner. So again I ask, was it because he took your share or your sister? You don't touch a man's kid, he knew that, and yet he... he... Damn, I thought he did for the money. You two, he's all yours. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help, Inspector. At least he's competent, but when did he... when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? It's not his job, you know, he just likes doing it. He belongs to one of the Ishgard's high houses. Some say he's a baron. <clears throat> not all like that Pavoon Hildebrand, don't you think? I try not to think about Hildebrand. We should get going. Lady Dora Doradel will not take kindly to wilted flowers. Alright. Actually, I think I have to teleport, don't I? 
Vesper Bay, that's over by uh, Shady Sands, is it not? Oh my Chuckabo, run all all the way, I guess. Oh we can fly, I guess. I don't really care, I guess, either way. <clears throat> oh, somebody's playing Final Fantasy 2. I just played Final Fantasy 1 not too long ago. It was a pretty like it was a pretty basic game, but that kind of makes sense because it's Final Fantasy 1. Two, I heard, is like the black sheep of the family, so that's really going to be interesting when I start on that eventually. Again, as I told the last one you came before, if you have some, if you come looking for work, you were too late. Even if I were indeed in need of additional security, I would not design, I would not deem to hire a common adventurer. Now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed. Did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gift, speak the magic words, and you can earn my respect. What is more, a flower's beauty is fleeting, a value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time, everlasting, enduring, unchanging, like mine. Now get out. Forgive us, Lady Dorada. We mean no disrespect. We were afraid that you would not heed our warnings otherwise. A notorious violent thief is planning to steal the treaty blade. You fools, I shall come to claim the Collector's blade, yes? I have read the Mythal Eye. I know full well of who you speak, and none of it is your concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Should he try, I'll have him seized or worse. Even if by some miracle he should succeed, he'll not escape my raft. For I have retained the services of a certain gentleman. Ah, but you may see for yourself. Like every piece of my collection, he has been a chosen with the utmost care. Now look at my peerless inspector and interlopers in despair. Ships that pass in the night, a single shone in the darkness. The lady cries out for a guardian, and a gentleman must, must, must needs oblige. I swear to you, here now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall neither sleep nor, sl nor slumber nor sleep until the fiend who covets the treaty blade is brought to justice. My lady, what brings you here? Are you come in pursuit of the duelist as well, or perchance in pursuit of me? As I would, if I was to spend a single guild on an ancestral incompetent. To be fair, you're not spending a single guild on me. The chance to investigate such an intriguing case is payment enough. Preemptive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. Sorry I'm late, busy solving a murder. Rodian Consulting Inspector, at your service, my lady. Convining. Conniving Inspector. Consulting Inspector. Ah, uh, rotten flesh and salt, Peter. Hildebrand Man of View and Nashu Makakra, I presume. Two rank amateurs playing at a profession which they know not. Call me when you're finished with these wastrels. You see, I do not want nor need your help. Rendarnian is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. Where have you been, Maria? And where's my vase? There was a strange flying thing, and I, the vase, I dropped it in the water. I was so... That vase once belonged to the Royal House of Throne. Thorn, do you have any idea of how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for my vase, and you are not to return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? My lady, pray allow me to go to 
in the girl's steed. It is not safe for her, for she herself spoke of a ferocious wild beast. With my unmatched investigative skills, I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, thereby earning respect, at which point you will gladly grant me permission to investigate the thieving duelist. Fairly, it is a plan fiendishly clever in, in, in its intricacies. Not when spoken out loud. <clears throat> Miss Maria, would you be kind to tell me exactly what happened? <laughs> I picked up the vase and you doll, like Mother said, and I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge and then the flying thing came. I got scared, so I ran. When I stopped, it was gone, but so was the vase. I think I dropped it in Nofiga's wells. I want to go and look, but there was a scary looking thing down there. I'm scared to go alone. You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall go together and look for the vase, all five of us. All four of you. I'm going after Inspector Bardornian. If the duelist strikes, I mean to be there. But Miss Illy, how can you ignore the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? Because that's my job, you imbecile. Well, we shall not be derelict in our duty to justice. Come, Nash, you must be away. You don't even know where the bloody vase looks like. Maria, dear, listen, if it gets dangerous or you feel afraid, then you run to this adventure for help, you understand? Oh, she's angry. Okay, we'll get out then. <laughs> oh, we got two markers here. Interesting. <coughs> Ah, okay, so we have three markers. I just looked at how many things we have to look at. <clears throat> it's a very foggy day, apparently. Pox upon the thieving deeming bird, he shall rule the day he cross paths with me. Huh, vase, I know not of what you- Gah, curse this infernal refuse underfoot. Either, every point is a dagger. There's something in the water at the man's feet. Interesting, okay. A vase? Well, anything that falls in the water is likely to be swept downstream fairly quickly. Does this have anything to do with that queer winged beast I saw there? No? Never mind then. I think it's up here on the bridge? Aha, here we go. That girl what run by earlier, I had seen her, had something in her hand, so I dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it didn't matter any road. Whatever it was, it's long gone by now. Yeah, I'm assuming it's by the first guy we talked to. Do I spy the treasured vase of Larry Dola over... Oh. Oh dear. Um, does this belong to you, child? Forgive me, I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. Your search for what, pray tale? The demon bird that has gone with my weapon. I set it down for but a moment, only to see it next to the talons of that cursed creature. I gave choice, following it to these waters. In my haste, I must have stepped on your vase. Don't fret, Maria. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hillebrand will think of something. 
Oh, but I already have my faithful assistant. Hearken to me now, for as the rising sun doth dispel the dark, so I shall my solution resolve our dilemma. But first we must gather as many fragments of the base as we can find. I mean, it's click on you, my friend, but... Okay, they're, they're getting a little faster at the interacting now. Now a lot faster. Okay. That one, not so much. Come to present your findings, have you? Split it. Let's have a look. Here we are. Well done, my friend. This should be more than sufficient for our needs. He has performed miracles of far less, after all. Oh, we got a dancey mode. All right. There is but one person in all of Arusia capable of reconstructing this vase. A man whose skill with the hammer has brought rival goldsmiths low. So breathtaking are his work, so fearsome his competitive spirit. This man is no mere goldsmith. You speak of him as one with great, a great warrior. Once a notorious gang of thieves perpetrated a series of robberies in Udall, targeting establishments which sold luxury goods. One such stop was owned by the humble lapidary of whom I speak. His was the last shop the thieves struck, for the following morning they were found beaten, bound, and gagged in the gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible, but the only information they had was the testimony of a thief who kept muttering words, the hammer. The hammer. He sounds dangerous. Aye, that he does, and so I do enjoy the company of dangerous men. But where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Gilgamesh, and this is my companion, Inkakadu. Well, not really. It has been many moons since I last saw her. So I, to ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted her green. In any case, you mean the search for this goldsmith, yes? If so, it would be my pleasure to help. The pleasure is all mine, Gilligan. I, Hildebrand, inquire, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, bid you welcome. If it is that hard for you to remember, I shall give you, leave you to call me Gil. Excellent suggestion, Greg. Playful mockers are an effective means of building commentary. Call me Hildy. No, then, from what I can know of the guildsman's propensity to procure his materials himself, I've deduced that he's most likely to be found in the vicinity of Blue Fog in North Anthonalon. It is there we shall begin our search. Alright. Head on up to North and Thought of On. <clears throat> yeah, this way to the south. This is probably where he's been, right? The Dildon's wounds indicate that it was felled with a hammer, a trail of bloody footprints lead to the north. I don't think it's been dead long. Maybe whoever did this is still around. This basket's wounds indicate it was filled with a hammer, a trail of bloody puts its lead to the north. A single blow to the head, impressive. Oh, 
Oh, another carcass. Assume this is probably the last one now. Not double than the basket says Iron Man. All were slain with a hammer, as was the beast over yonder, unless I'm mistaken. That Chimera must be his latest prize, which means he should still be about. Mayhap he was watching us at this very moment, attempting to certain our intentions. He was ever a cautious man when on the hunt. At last it comes to this, though every fiber of my being cries out rebellion, I must break my oath and do the unspeakable. What must you do that is so terrible? I must dance. I'm a Mander, Mander, Manorville man, doing what only a Manorville can. From the peaks of Corythius to Thonalon, Mander, Mander, Manorville man. I cannot avert my eyes. That, ugh. That is the dance of the House of Manorville, passed down from father to son. Were I to permit within sight of a quarry, he would not be able to resist revealing himself. Alas, I, I neglected to properly stretch my legs beforehand. My good woman, I see no other solution. You must dance in my stead. That must be a gross, no, inconscionable violation of my family's traditions. I must beneath to you the Vanderville. We shall dance the sacred dance. We are siblings now, my constant comrade, for I have shared with you the secrets of House Manderville. Now you must use that knowledge, go to the Fallen Chimera, and dance like only Manderville can. Alright, let's do this. The sacred dance. <laughs> Fancy yourself a man of a van. You would do that only a man of a van can. Then lift your legs and put up your hands. Be a man of a man. Of, man, of, man, of, man. He comes. Ho ho, you have not to fear for me, not at all. The only counts I've come to sell worth the chimera. But you were not drawn here by some coincidence, no were you? Yeah, you came in search of me, Godbert. Why else would you grant your hips in such a genuinely fashion, if not that? Wait, I know you. You have strong yet tender fingers. But more importantly, how in the hell did you learn the Manorville? If I did not teach you, then who? By the grace of Thal, what sorcery is this? He, he yet lives. Run faster, man. He's gang. By the gods. Now. 
Ten years, Hildebrand. Ten years since you left home. And five since I learned of your trip to Delamon. How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffer under the illusion that their beloved son was dead? Son, you are Hildy's father. Godworth the goldsmith, a Manor Man man. Smithing is only a Manorville can. Oh, him up and give him a tan. Fit for a Manor Manorville man. Please, father, cease your relations at once. There are more pressing matters at hand. This antique vase must be made a whole once whole once more for the sake of Miss Maria. <laughs> do not worry, little one. I deal with worst cases before my morning bowel movement. Hold your applause until the end. By a god, guide my hammer. Look how it sparkles in the twilight, how radiant elegance. Would you all not agree that it is a work of art? You've completely destroyed it, priceless antiques and forced struggle of value. Nonsense, I've taken a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. Hope you were paying attention, Hildy. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Father, I, that's not my path. I'm an ancient acquirer, an inspector. It is my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others, too, innocent people whose weapons were callously ripped from their hands by a thieving duelist. I thought you had put away your childish dreams. No matter, you'll understand in due time. No, I will not. I'm an inspector, Father. I can be not else. Uh, Mr. Galbert, sir, I don't think my mother's going to like what you did. She probably won't let Mr. Hillerbrand help with the investigation. We cannot say for certain, can we? Perhaps she'll take a liking to this reimagining. You spoke of a thieving duelist, did you not? It so happens I'm something of a duelist myself. Where were you to cross paths with this fellow? I'd welcome the opportunity to put my skills against his. And Kaidu as well, I should think. I see you too possess a strong sense of justice. Full glad I am to met you, Greg. Now let's return to Vesper Bay and see how our vase is received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence. I shall be traveling there on business once I've finished gathering materials. Huh, I think I may have seen the demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me. I shall t follow Anon. Interesting so far. And as far as I remember, it's been a while since I've been there, but isn't Godvert like the owner of Gold Saucer? I rarely ever go to the Gold Saucer, to be honest. I should probably go there at some point again. It's probably been years since I've stepped foot in there, now that I think about it. She likes it. Mother, I brought you the vase. By the gods, have you no shame? You, how dare you make my father complicit in your shinery? I don't know where you found this gaudy trash, but bears no resemblance whatsoever to the vase I purchased. 
Now see here, Larry Dorada, not only did you send Marie to fetch your priceless face alone, placing it in considerable damage danger should bandage your wild beast attack, which they did, but... Gaudy trash. Lord Mandeville, sir, I did not realize you had arrived. Though I know nothing is nothing compared to lavish combinations as an esteemed gentleman as such as yourself must enjoy, I pray my humble abode but meet your satisfaction. Uh, it does, my lady, it does indeed, especially that twisted vase over yonder. Although I gather from your previous comments that you do not like my reconstruction. You were a reconstruction. Oh, I don't like it, I love it. I would go as far as to call it my new centerpiece of my Thorn Dynasty collection. Ah, oh, what a relief. I would have been most distressed had you said otherwise. We Mandervilles do take pride in our work, ever strive for professional perfection. Oh, but why am I repeating my, what my son Hildebrand doubtless told you when he offered to investigate the duelist's threats? Enough accessory uh, banter, I say. I cannot recall if your son used these precise words, but I do remember thinking that his help would be most welcome. You will be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute, your father is Lord Godwart Mandeville? The man who took Elinon Quiverson's seat on the Syndicate? It appears that there has been a great many developments over the past ten years, of which I am completely unaware. In any case, we must redirect our energies towards the investigation of the thieving duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts of consenting Inspector Bridorian. Well, that's one way to get your foot in the door. Where is this guy? Is he outside? Yeah, he is outside. Okay. Why are you still here? I asked me that question a lot, my friend. Allow me to elucidate. Lady Dorota has asked us that we assist with the investigation. Now kindly share with us all your information. Fine. Our plans have advanced to a stage that even you couldn't ruin them anyway. I commissioned several reproductions of the Treaty Blade through a merchant named Janjapa, who traffics in counterfeit antiques. These blades have been delivered to the Observatorium, where they are being distributed among Lady Dorota's cell swords. Once I give the order, they will transport them via internal routes to Vestra Bay. Oh, I think I get it. You're hiding the real transport with a bunch of decoys, right? They're all decoys. The moment the thief strikes, all of our forces will converge on his location, including those disguised as small folk along each route. The real treaty party remain in the, in the original owner's vault until the thief has been apprehended. Everything has been accounted for. You are so flushes. <clears throat> Mayhap we could use some more small folk to watch the roads in and out of the observatorium, assuming you have the capacity to conduct yourself in an unassuming fashion. Fear not, my fellow inspector, for I'm a master of disguise. Have you any information regarding the duelist himself, a description? Never thought to ask Humphrey, did you? Uh, the thief is said to be a towering brute dressed in red who wills a hellbird. Aha! Uh -huh. a, a man so garishly dressed should be easy to find in Snowy Cuthius. I suppose we don't need your help after all, do we? Come on, or don't. I couldn't care less. Be seeing you. Um. Pray forget my lightness. Greg, my good man. What a pleasure to see you again. We just received information regarding the weapon thief. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a victim described him as a halberd winning brute dressed in. dressed in. A ridiculous outfit. A ridiculous outfit? Oh, I know I am intrigued. What reasons would a warrior have for wearing impractical clothing? Haha, <laughs> what a reasons indeed. It's enough to make a gentleman laugh. Allow me to summarize our current plan of action. Our destination is the Observatorium, and our mission is to post as goodly small folk in accordance with Inspector Bardian's instructions. Naturally, should the situation demand improvisation, improvisation, we are to disregard those instructions. Any questions? No. Then let us sally forth at once. That devil demon burn continues to elude me, but no longer. Soon I shall claim my revenge and weapon both. Off to Corythius, then.
Alright. Well, we got some other flyers around. <clears throat> it's kind of nice for once to be playing an MMO that has, like, actual people roaming around in it. <laughs> Just so many of them that I like. I think only probably this game and maybe Guild Wars 2, I think, would imagine would probably have... Well, I guess ESO as well. Those three. Everything else is kind of, like, low pop that I've been playing, so... Hey to thee, fellow servant of justice. I take it you are one of the many tasks of transforming counterfeit treaty blade. Clear that you're mistaking me for someone else, sir. At ease, Sergeant. They're with us, more small folk. Keep an eye on them, or else. But, sir, I. Bugger me. Don't you bloody move until I get back. I say, is this land always so inhospitable? The biting winds, the endless snows. Mayhap keeping active will keep, help keep warm. Oh, and I should ta chance to meet the thieving duelist. I'll, of course, summon you. After menacing the risk of beating. <laughs> Good, you're, um... Hmm, wasn't there someone else a few moments ago? Ah, oh, you speak of Greg. You ventured outside the gates from your moments before your arrival. Fully eager to catch the thief as we are. Come, Nashu. We too must answer the call of duty. You look like you might actually be useful. Why don't you have a word for my man near the east gates? We're undermanned over there. You see that just now, no? Hmm. I don't think me eyes were playing tricks on me, but there's only one way to be sure. You wait here. Inspector, over there, look. What is it, Nash? You play, tell me what you see. Aha, I see you, Demon Bird. You will not escape me this time. Well, hello there, my friends. It's all a miss. Oh, it's just Greg. For a moment, I thought you may have spotted a thief. Come, Nash, you. We've lingered here long for long. We must aggress post haste. Uh, there's not out the ordinary here either. No luck, him. We have scoured every limb of the area to no avail. I can only include that, having learned that his opponent was to be legendary Inspector Hildebrand. The duelist renounced his criminal ways and treated into hiding. Or perhaps he is waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons to leave. That being said, should you decide to venture into the wilderness, you had best arm yourself with more than your wits. I appreciate your concern, Miss Ellie, but a gentleman should abstain from violence unless absolutely necessary. I'll fight for you, Inspector. I even found a weapon to use. By the Twelve, is that the same self swim spear which propelled me to the Red Moon? Wherever did you find it? It was buried in the snow. <clears throat> well, one cannot ignore the will of destiny. Return it to me, Nashu. Though I'm still endeavoring to avoid Vistakov, so I'll be duly armed should worse come to worse. Now then, we begin our search for the duelist to the east of the Observatorium. Hmm. Curious. Oh, and then we have a... Oh, okay, he's gonna be passive, never mind. We'll just hang out here with the gold blue. Where there are out there are my nefarious nemesis. To us not the self-same creature, but one of many, and nevertheless I know that my weapon is close by. 
You sense it too, don't you? Craig, I have a mean ass. Why do you covet this weapon so? If if you but have held it, you would understand. In some ways, it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respects, it's quite different. It was quite a magnificent axe blade, to which which weld of a musket barrel. It was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Ah, oh, how I yearned to reclaim it—the strongest of spears. That weapon of yours bears a striking a striking resemblance to to the strongest of spears. I claimed this weapon five years ago. Surely you can't be serious. Okay, now we call you call me Shirley. No matter, give it to me. Give it to me. This spear and I have traveled together to the very heavens. I will not relinquish it again. The spirit and I bested many a band together. I will not relinquish it again. Then we are at an impasse. I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, Inspector. Thanks to you, we've caught the weapon thief in the act. Miss Ellie, you're grossly misreading our dispute. Greg is a good, honest man who I'm certain has never stolen a weapon in his life. Indeed, I have not. Every weapon I've claimed was by my rights mine. Each was a trophy for besting my opponent in single combat. I believe that constitutes a confession. Seize him. Seize him. A confession to what? I've done not wrong. Bah, you're all beyond reason. Ah, uh, yes, my plan to secure Greg's confession was utterly flawless, and his capture was be the coup de, coup de gras. Well, I planned thus far as flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. I know who you are, even if that imbecile doesn't, so let's not mince words. Only you have the skill to face the duelist in battle. Even so, your strength alone will not likely suffice. I suggest you muster all as you can. Well, let's go talk to Hildebrand down there. It's time for a battle on a cold, crisp night. Nashu, Miss Ellie? Ah, my good woman, it's a relief to hear your footfalls. As you've doubtless to do, so I was unable to prevent Greg from escaping through the doors. I must leave the rest to you.
Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time. You took so long to arrive, I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Long did I wonder what your role was to play in this. A silent guardian, content to watch events unfold with minimal interaction. At last I understand, we are fated to duel you and I. Best me and you may have the spear. Fail and your other weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you not think? I'll even extend them to your allies. Aye, I grant your leave to summon others. After all, it will avail you no advantage. <laughs> For Gilgamesh, it is in beginning time. Battle on the big bridge. <laughs> 